Hello, friends. At, at the moment, I have so far I have made 25 squares for my Tunisian sampler blanket. And at the moment, I need to lay them out and measure them and find out how big the blanket's roughly looking at. I'm wanting the blanket to be four foot by six foot. So let's see how big my 25 squares make it and come up with a plan for the next step. So, with the help of West, I have a plan. This is my little plan. <clears throat> All the X's are the squares I've completed. The circled one is the one I need to redo. And all the empties are the ones that I need to make. And I assigned colors and came up with a total of which colors I need. So like the yellow one, is six rather than the five or the four because I'm redoing one yellow square. Um, so I'm just barely halfway through the blanket. Now, obviously the end blanket and the pattern of the colors won't be just straight lines of color. Um, but I just try to end up with the same number of the of colors for each of them. Um, and then I can work on how I want the pattern to go later and rearrange them. But as long as I have the same number of squares for each color, then I think I'll have a starting place to work from. So, like you saw in the video, this one's so small. 
it's so small because these are the typical sizes. Uh, that's a big difference. So I'm going to go back to my previous videos and figure out what stitch this is and redo it. And I'm keeping this one out as a size reference as to what my squares need to be, um, roughly, to be measuring them too. So you'll we'll have plenty more videos of stitches to come, um, which to me is nice because there are definitely more stitches I want to learn, and I'm looking forward to it. So thank you for joining me today as we took stock of where we're at. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day, and in the meantime, feel free to like and subscribe.